Returned to Oakland for the first time since LaFair PJ, Latrell Sprewell mints no words. I just want to go in there and crush them, he said. There's bitterness, hatred, whatever you'd call it. For the first time, a nick for eight seasons, Starks was once the spark plug at Madison Square Garden, leaving fans with the fondest of memories as he kissed an era goodbye. Latrell Sprewell's days as a warrior were explosive at times, but one major explosion signaled his end in the Bay Area and started a new beginning in New York. It's the Knicks versus Warriors from Oakland next. Predominantly boos, but a lot of cheers, and this is how Sprewell answered with his first so-called layup. As the Knicks and Warriors get ready, P.J. Carlissimo coming on the floor now as the teams warm up. And good evening, everyone. Along with Walt Clyde Frazier, Mike Green on hand, this is one of the most anticipated regular season games in recent memory. To the other forward position in his eighth year from Alabama. Stanley 6'5", number 15, Latrell Sprewell. Head coach of the Knicks, Jeff Van Gundy. Assisted by Greg Brittenham, Don Chaney, Brendan Malone, Jeff Nix, and Tom Thibodeau. The New York trainer is Mike Saunders. As Carlissimo is now going over to the Nick bench to shake hands with Jeff Van Gundy. One of his best friends. And uh, now they will come out fighting. That's the old strong minutes last night in Phoenix against the Suns. Him and Dudley played well in what was not a good performance by the Knicks. Spreewell pulls up, knocks it in. A nice running jumper along the baseline that time by Spree. And now the delay of game warning against the Knicks, so both teams have shown their folly early on in the game. It was after the ball went through the net, one of the Knicks touched it. Two consecutive shots from there. Mills is their second leading scorer at 16 a game. Sprewell rattles in the two. And a lot of demonstrative actions by Schultz. He's 6'9 with long arms. That's a very difficult matchup for Sprewell. Kicks it out to Ward. Ward wide open again. Charlie Ward, it's his second. Well. He was upset, but he wasn't starting. Sprewell double teamed. And that's All right. it's stolen by Starks. Starks ahead, broken up by Wallace. Good transition defense from John Wallace. And that's what teams are doing now against the Knicks. They are doubling Spree and Allen whenever they get the ball on the low post, which is not so bad tonight because Ward has the hot hand. So if they get the ball, squares and faces five on the shot clock starks nice feet inside before it can't get it marshall that won't go wallace the rebound yeah good harassment by dudley and Sprewell slows down despite a one on three opportunity uh, thomas puts it in and no clyde Sprewell. Uh, foil had it lost it Sprewell coming the other way but slowing it down he averages six bounds per game Sprewell in the lane shot won't go kurt thomas flips oh. it up ball tip taken Sprewell has it blaylock tried to knock it away Sprewell puts it up again and knocks it down. And that play personifies Sprewell. Shot. He was feeling it because he had made a couple and then put up the UFO. Knicks lead by 15. Nearly four minutes gone by in the third. At least the pace has quickened. Sprewell kicks it out. Kurt Thomas steps up. Line drive shot is good. Thomas has that. The Knicks. Stark's got it now one on one. There's a double team. Good ball movement, leaving Houston open for three, puts it in. Allen Houston and Starks. Starks has been in foul trouble. Sprewell's been double teamed all night as we look at their numbers. Yeah. Golden State, as we mentioned. Let's take a look at Spree, a good bad shot shooter. That time posting up Laylock. And Spree has lost that adrenaline. That's what happens when you get too high before a game. It came out very exuberant. Bailing him out, Starks was looking for the foul. Sprewell blocked by four. But a foul called, and P.J. Carlissimo is irate, as is the entire Warrior bench. And he might have a good beef on that play. Sprewell trying to go in there against the 6-9 foul. Watch the play. I didn't see a foul here. Where's the foul? Yeah, right there. He hit him on the head when he blocked the shot. He came down on Sprewell's head. And that's what you Hollins was saying. He was motioning with his arm. Hollins has been on top of his game tonight. And now the crowd, the most vociferous as they've been all evening against Sprewell. And they are enjoying every mistake or miscue by Latrell Sprewell. It's been the case all night. They've been pretty consistent. Yeah, listen to them in the background. Oh, knows what it is. 
underneath and jams it in. Three with the master blaster that time, the Matador Deep. Coming right into your living room is three. Yeah. <laughs> the rim rocker there. And the Warriors are showing attrition. They've been off for several. Houston wide open. It's good. Allen Houston from downtown. A huge basket. And the Knicks back up by 17. Houston erupting in a nick of time. Two. Not much there, but he did lower the shoulder. That's his fifth. They said five earlier, but that's only his fifth. Now he's gone. Don Starks is fouled out. That's what happens when you get too excited playing against the team. Oh, that oh, oh, so Starks early on had two quick fouls relegated to the bench. And then he started to be a factor, but now he's gone with his sixth foul. Ten points for John Starks. Tim Legler will come in. Starks, you could do well talking with Mills. The two of them have been going at it the last couple of minutes. They're still going at it. Now, I don't know why Van Gundy even has this guy's starters in the game anymore. This is when guys get injured. They start to lose their cool. He get his first team out of there. Here's the bump between... Mills and Sprewell. Slager and elbow by Spree. And they continue to talk, and a technical foul has been called on a couple of players. Why doesn't Van Gundy get these guys out of the game? I think it's Mills and Sprewell. Now, this is just pure spec. Rick Brunson taking Sprewell away. Sprewell would be better off just walking off. Crowd is taunting him as he goes to the bench right now. Patrick Ewing doing a good job coming out. Tommy Nunez, the veteran official, trying to give him some words of advice as well. Words that Sprewell should take. So double technical fouls on Mills and Sprewell. Again, Clyde, just a thought on why he's in the game so long. He's been hearing it from behind the bench quite a bit. Maybe Van Gundy wanted to keep him on the floor away from him. Realizes that it's something that's going to stay with both of them for the rest of their careers. Yeah, I think the focus uh, in New York will be on John Stark. The return of John Stark. Brunson hits some free throws. Jones to Legler, final seconds. Farmer, that's a three-pointer, and it's good. Uh, too little too late for the Golden State Warriors, as Allen Houston will dribble it out. And there's the buzzer, and the Knicks with a much-needed win. The focus tonight was on Latrell Sprewell, but as far as the team is concerned, Sprewell with words for Mills as he walks off. They just got a win that they had to have. Sprewell played well on the court as did his teammates as they defeat the Golden State Warriors and snap their losing streak at two and go to two and two on this West Coast trip. Former Big East pals, P.J. Carlissimo and Patrick Ewing. Tonight it was a suffocating Nick defense that propelled them to the victory. So the Knicks get the win at the arena in Oakland. Final score, 86-79. Plenty more to come from the Bay Area when we return.